Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Water Tech with Todd. I'm your host, Todd Schneider. Today, we're coming back with popular demand, the ACV. Now, I will tell you, today's video, the only thing we're going to be going through is the actual startup of the ACV itself. And we'll be going over the Watts LFF-115, and then also we'll be going over uh, the LFM-115. Uh, the only thing difference is really going to be for you guys is going to be the color of the body, the LFM. It's going to be red and the LFF is going to be blue. Okay, so now if you have any questions or you don't understand uh, the terminology that I'll be using, uh, I would refer you back to a previous video where we go through the ACV um, in detail, kind of knowing how these things work, all the different components. So as we're going through this video, if you're not understanding any part of it, go back to our previous video, watch it. It's really going to tell you uh, what all these parts are for and then how it works. Um, and then today we'll just work on the actual startup of the valve itself. Okay, now let's get into the startup of the actual ACV. Now, obviously, step one, make sure your valve is installed in the correct direction. Uh, there's a flow arrow on the side, or you can see where we have our incoming water and our pilot is going to be the last uh, piece of uh, equipment that is sending the water out. Now, before I even put water onto this valve, there's a couple steps I want to take uh, to kind of preset this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, my speed control. I'm going to remove this cap here. We're going to loosen up our lock nut. And we're going to spin that all the way out. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to spin this speed control all the way to the closed position. Once I get it to the closed position, what we want to do is we want to back it out one and a half to two full turns. And then we're going to come back in, tighten up that lock nut. Next step we're going to want to do is we're going to come over to our pilot valve. Now our pilot valve is what's controlling how much pressure is going into the building. So I want to make sure that I loosen up my packing nut here and I'm going to back this all the way out, ensuring that I'm allowing the lowest amount of pressure into the building during startups. Now these are normally preset up to 55, uh, but I like to back these all the way out and make sure I'm sending again the lowest amount of pressure less amount of damage that could happen. And we're gonna be sending in with it all the way out, roughly around 20 PSI will be entering into the building. The next more really important step we're gonna do uh, in starting this up, we've got everything preset, is now we're gonna start allowing water to enter to the valve and flowing through. Okay, so when we get water and we allow any sort of water into a new device uh, in any sort of plumbing application, we're gonna get air. Okay, and when air collects, what air is going to do is collect on top of this dome. Okay, what's going to create basically a balloon of air. And you'll notice when you have too much air, it's very hard to dial this in. And then also your gauges are going to be kind of fluctuating 50 to 60 pounds in either direction. So when the ACV is placed in a horizontal position, uh, the first step we're going to want to do is we want to find, okay, now we know this is the highest point, is we're going to back this plug out. Now I will tell you there's no stop on this plug. So when you back this out, we only want to go out about maybe half, maybe a little bit more. And what we're going to be looking for is a lot of white, basically milky looking water. Uh, that way we're actually letting the air out of the top. Now as this is kind of leaking water out, we're getting all the air, we want to go to the highest part of our tubing uh, and that's going to be up here. Uh, and we're going to want to loosen this flare nut up. Now I will tell you, you don't have to loosen it very much, just loosen a little bit, you're going to get a good shot of water. I only let that run for about two, three seconds. Uh, the air will relieve out of this tubing pretty quickly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tighten that back up. Now what we really want to do is we want to allow this to have enough time. So sometimes it'll take two minutes, it may take up to like three or four minutes, but we want to make sure we get all of the air off the top of this cover uh, by just loosening up this uh, plug here. Uh, once we feel comfortable, we've got all of our white milky water out of here and we've got good clean uh, water coming out. We're just gonna come right back in and tighten this plug right back up, okay? Now that is all if it's running in a horizontal position. Now not all the times, but you can also have mm -hmm. these in a vertical application. Now once it's in a vertical application, you're gonna notice this is not the highest point, but we're, this is now the highest point. So when it's in a vertical application, what we're gonna wanna do is le loosen all of the bolts up. So we're gonna loosen up these top two, then we're gonna move down, 
and then we're going to move down here just a little bit. Once we get these loosened up a little bit, we'll take a screwdriver and we'll kind of just stick it right in here. And we're just going to twist a little bit, creating some space, allowing all of that air to come right out of the top of the uh, valve itself. Once we get a good shot of water, we'll come right back down in, tighten all the nuts back up. And then once we get it tightened up, we're in good shape. Now we finally got all those steps taken care of. Let's actually get into setting our valve. Um, so the one thing with any sort of ACV and PRV is we have to have water flowing through this valve. Okay, on a valve this size, and it's all going to be determined uh, based on that valve size. But I would use a minimum of about 15 to 20 gallons a minute flowing downstream of this valve. Once we get good flow through this valve, what we're going to want to do is again slowly don't rush this is we're going to start tightening tightening up the bolt on our pilot valve okay once you kind of get it turning in you're going you're to notice on your gauge the pressure is going to start going up slightly now when i'm adjusting my pressures i'm only going to be taking this and doing this uh, in the beginning with a quarter maximum half turn okay once we start getting our gauge moving up or getting our pressures moving up, uh, we want to be patient. Let this valve stable out, okay? Give it about five minutes between each time you're adjusting it. Uh, if we're sitting at a lower pressure, all we're going to do is come back in and doing a quarter turn, bringing our pressures up. If we get too high, it's not a big deal. We're going to come back in and back the pilot valve in the out position, dropping that pressure. Once we get that desired pressure, I suggest letting that water run through the building and then also allowing, again, everything to stable out. Once we're comfortable and once we feel good about it, always remember, tighten our lock nuts back up. There's going to be a lot of water flowing through this. Uh, there is going to be vibration. If this lock nut is not locked down, what happens is I find that the screw starts backing itself out slowly and you start having problems in the future. So don't skip the step. Make sure that you come back in and you make sure that uh, your lock nuts are all locked in. Everything's tight and this is going to work for years on end. Let's review those steps one more time just so we know we're good. Uh, valve in the correct direction of flow. Speed control all the way in. One and a half, two turns out. Pilot valve, back it all the way out, knowing that we're now sending the lowest pressure to the building as possible. Relieve the air. Relieve the air. Get a good 15 to 20 minute uh, gallons of flow and start tightening up our pilot valve to increase our pressures or out to decrease our pressures. Now, as always ask, um, please like and subscribe to my videos. Uh, this way I can do a lot more. Uh, if you're in the Ohio, Kentucky or Indiana market, feel free to contact us. Uh, you can come into our wet lab and actually physically work on one of these valves yourself. Really kind of dive in. I know hands-on is a lot better than just watching a video or reading out of a book. Um, we also have something new with Disney McLean. It's our mobile training van that we're now naming Training Wheels. Um, now we're actually physically able to bring our training center to you, either to your job site or to the uh, place of business where we can actually dive in and not just look at ACVs, we can look at backflow, uh, we can look at drainage, multiple different products, really get your hands on and get some training in for you. Again, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe and leave any comments uh, with any questions. Thank you.